Kinmen Island has a bunch of really historical villages and old houses. And in the southwestern area of Kinmen is a village called Chusan, very well-known village. And here you'll find the very famous Piano Piano B&B. If this is your first time going to Kinmen, I highly recommend that you watch the clips I did on We View Kinmen first to give you a summarized idea of the island and the layout. Now Kinmen is quite famous for its renovated old style houses. Some are being used as cafes and others as little shops, but the large majority have been turned into B&Bs and homestay type places. Most of these B&Bs are under the administration of the Kinmen National Park, who rent it out to private citizens like Grace. Now Grace rents around four to five buildings, I think, and she calls them Piano Piano. Booking a place in Kinmen could be slightly confusing because everything is numbered. So if you want to book a place, make sure that you find out what's the building number of the place that you book. In this case, Piano Piano occupies Zhu San building number 75, which I think is their main building with five rooms. They also have building number 20 with four rooms and buildings 24 and 36, each with a couple of smaller rooms. This is room 755 in building number 75. It sleeps two to four people and the price differs between weekends and weekdays. For two people the price is around 2000 to 2500 a night, including breakfast. And for four people the price is around 3200 to 3700 a night. And this is room 751 in that same building, number 75. It sleeps two people. And this room is called their VIP suite, and you'll see why. In addition to a very nice bathroom and huge tub, it also has a very nice separate living space. Room 751 is around 3000 to 3600 a night for two people sharing. A quick but important side note, I was unable to confirm where or if Kinman has a sewage recycling plant, so you might want to consider not flushing anything non-biodegradable. Now I know that sounds really gross, but just think of it as you doing your part to protect the nature in this area. Another thing, Kinman has a huge water shortage. In fact, they will soon be buying water from China. So try to make your showers a bit shorter if you can, and if you have that pimp suite with that nice tub, maybe just fill it up halfway. Next I walk just 5 minutes up the road to building number 20. And this is room 205. A smaller room that sleeps 2 people, at a price of 1800 to 2000 NT a night, depending on whether it's a weekday or a weekend. While in Zhusan, or in Kinmen for that matter, keep an eye out for the characteristic elements of the houses, especially the tops of the roofs. If the roof has a pointy swallowtail design like that one just had, it means someone with official capacity or financial means lived there. If it's a round horseback design like this one, it means an ordinary citizen lived in that house. In addition to lovely old architecture, all the rooms at Piano Piano smell of sandalwood due to all the wood fixtures inside. Which reminds me, on the day that we left only did we figure out that the windows are in fact traditional wooden slide panels that close like this. An important fact to know for blocking out light and or noise commotion from other visitors. Piano Piano offers their guests a traditional breakfast every morning and although every room has Wi-Fi, not every room has a TV. In fact, I don't remember seeing any TVs at all. So if you would like a TV in your room, make sure to ask for that before you book your room.